Hey Star Wars fans and Vintage Collection figures, welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. We're looking at one that has uh, sort of slipped past over the coming months, over the past few months, sorry. Uh, we have Anakin Skywalker Peasant Disguise from Attack of the Clones. Now this was one of the re-releases that I wasn't interested in getting, but uh, of course, I have become the very thing I swore to destroy. <laughs> no, um, yeah look, I literally just used my old one. Uh, from the original Vintage Collection, which I did review some years ago. Um, but I, yeah, I used my old one. I used the head and the legs of the old one to update the uh, Clone Wars Anakin that I just did in my Jedi vs Sith um, unboxing video yesterday. So I decided to uh, pick up this figure. You know, it's going pretty cheap now. Um, you can get it everywhere. Um, and it is a good update. I've watched a bunch of reviews. And uh, I decided it really wasn't that bad that I should pass on it, particularly because I don't have it anymore. <laughs> that was the main reason. But um, yeah, it looks to be a uh, pretty decent update, um, particularly with the uh, head sculpt. I'm still not sure why they ever chose to do this version of Anakin. I still think just the regular um, outfit of Anakin Skywalker would have you know, sufficed and probably sold better, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah, this is an odd one. But, uh, yeah, the only one I didn't get from that repack wave was... Oh, I didn't get either of them. <laughs> it was the Queen Amidala, the TIE Fighter Pilot, and the Battle Droid. Um, and after that, the heavy Battle Droid from the gaming grades, I decided I'm definitely not going to get any more Battle Droids. Because the uh, plastic's just a bit crap. So, let's open this one up and take a look. Alright, so here is Anakin in Pezza Disguise out of the packaging. And, uh, first thing I noticed that is is that the soft goods they've used for this one is different to the original. Um, the other one was quite a th sort of thick wool almost feel, uh, a bit more feltish I suppose. Um, and yeah, this one's a much lighter, um, but still sort of sewn into a good sort of shape for a figure to sort of sit nicely. Um, probably doesn't sit as heavy as the old one, but you know, we're talking such a small piece of fabric on such a small action figure, it's going to be really, really hard to get things like soft goods to sit heavily on a figure when there is literally minuscule weight to them. But uh, we'll take a look at the head sculpt because that's where I think this one really stands out. And uh, yeah, just looking at it, it looks good. You know, it's, th it's the same sculpt, they haven't changed the sculpt of it, it's just uh, new paint apps, which is you know, definitely breathe new life into this one. I think it looks great. Accessories he comes with. He comes with his lit lightsaber, which I have there holding it in his hand. And it is the accurate episode two hilt, which is great. You don't see that one pop up very often. And the uh, unlit hilt, which does peg to his belt on the side there. So I'll just put that back on. There we go. Now I have I have really liked this outfit in the past. I think it's a cool, cool look. Um, just not necessarily the action orientated Anakin that we would probably prefer <laughs> in, a, in an action figure form. Um, particularly when you're talking about like, you know, really nice detail like the face sculpt here. Um, so yeah, boots look nice. The trousers look look good. Only got the swivel hips, but that was uh, you know, that was how it was back then. They haven't changed the figure at all. It's uh, it's the same figure as back in uh, 2011, 2010, 2011. Um, it might have been 2011. I reckon early 2011 the original one came out. It was part of wave four. May have even been later. I can't remember. Yeah, the sort of pattern on his shirt is cool. Nicely, nicely applied. The sculpt is great on the figure as well. All the way around. Definitely not one to uh, bulk at. My, uh, you know, when this wave was sort of announced, I, I did take a bit of issue with it, uh, with the wave. I just thought the, uh, the choices of figures were, weren't great. Um, you know, when we've got you know, a decent an episode two Anakin, like regular Anakin, uh, that came out in the Black Series 3.75 and 
a Padme with her white outfit that came out in the uh, Black Series 3.75 that would have looked great on vintage cards as opposed to doing this one and a random Queen Amidala from for in the past I've, I've just been all about you know see show us something new give us something different give us something new um, but I, I do see the value in re-releases because there's a whole generation of people that are that have jumped on collecting um, that are new to the hobby that would love to get a hold of these figures but um, you know like the rest of us that got into it <laughs> 10 10 15 20 years ago we we all had to do our fair share of backtracking to get figures. Um, so it's just part and parcel of collecting, but yeah. No, I, I definitely respect their, their choice to uh, release it. I don't have to buy them. Um, and they have said that they don't necessarily take up spots that would be otherwise um, used for, for new figures. These are, you know, repack sort of carry forwards are their own thing. They're separate to their plans for the main line so they're not necessarily taking up places uh, that would be reserved for, for newer releases so we can only take them off their word on that but um yeah I'll leave a link to my original review so if you want to gonna take a jump back in the time machine to probably you know nine years ago uh, yeah jump in the comments and uh, have a look because uh, yeah it'll be it'll be terrible trust me I promise you that but uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this one, Anakin, Anakin Skywalker Peasant Disguise. I, I, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm glad I, glad I picked it up. I'm not going to worry about the Padma. I'm not worried about the others. But yeah, it's nice to have this one in the collection. It is a nice update for Anakin. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll be back with some more videos. You know, almost every second day. I'm, I'm aiming for about three or four videos a week, so yeah, I'm always uploading content and uh, yeah, stay tuned to my social media for live stream announcements and stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, may the force be with you always.